This is Twit. And meanwhile, Google's selling DIY AI kits at Target. AIY. So um, I, I would say the technology, and I'll just go back to this because this is near and dear to my heart. Um, the technology got really good. And now we're kind of in a space where we're trying to advance the actual underlying hardware and software governing AI. So we saw this huge epic leap in like 20, from 2012 to 2015 and facial recognition because we were like, hey, we can apply this to GPUs. And then we got new ways to apply it to more cores on a GPU. So right now where we are is we're now, we've we've done all that work there. Now we're trying to build new types of learning, self-learning models for computers. And that's going to, they're figuring that out. And then once they've got that, they're going to have to figure out hardware optimized for it because this still does take a lot of computing power. So I don't think it's really a moral panic thing so much as it's like a we hit a technology wall and we're going there. I I don't know how I missed this AIY thing. This is pretty cool from Google. It is pretty cool. They uh, had much, this for a while. Yeah. I, I, yeah everyone I was so excited know. about this and I can't figure out why. <laughs> um, so the idea, well, but they started selling it in Target, which I think is. Right. And they is, added a pie. Is kind of, so. Yeah. So it's got, there's two of them. One's for sound and one's for uh, vision. The sound one has a Raspberry Pi Zero. The Vision one has a Raspberry Pi 2. You could literally build your own intelligent speaker and experiment with voice recognition. So how much expertise do you have to have in what area to do this? Well, see, that's an interesting question. They, they, I think they're pushing it as a step, part of a STEM program, right? I think anyone can actually do this. You you have to have... It, it You're walks not coding. You You're not writing any code. You are actually working through some code, but oh. it's they, they show it to you. So you can... I, I don't know if you can cut and paste or if you just... It, but it's not hard. It, yeah. But it gives you a start. Are, and the, the voice one's been around for a while. The, the other one is newer, I believe, the computer vision one. Oh, I see. So this also, this just ties. So I see one of the examples here that you showed was was uh, picturing an apple and it's giving the probability. So that's going. So this is a this is a way to get into all of Google's pretty, pretty cool. tremendous, pretty <laughs> tremendous um, yeah. uh, APIs. And and so yet, I want I want to see how to teach my journalism students to tie into these things. This I think either for fifth graders or journalism students, you probably could do this. <laughs> but not us we are too yeah, stupid yeah, yeah. Um, it, I think you should get one and make it on the I show I will you know what let's order it let's uh, or I'll go to My Target favorite sport <laughs> get over Target. Leo to buy things yeah no I will buy this but I bet it isn't too hard uh, and it really is up to the, prof the teacher or the professor uh, to add the content that would make it more about AI and more about what's involved and stuff like that but at least you got all the hardware and you can interact with it and write code and do-it-yourself cool. project for STEM education ideal for teens. You're right, Stacey. That's what it says yeah. on the when you, yeah. on the buy page. Yeah. Um, well, they had put it out for kind of the hacker community about a year ago because we looked at it on the show because people are like, ooh, cool. But um, it, I don't think it did super well there. I so, think uh, we should have a joy detector. Point the vision kit towards someone's face. Ask them to smile. Ask them to smile really big. Ask them to make a frowning face. And then, of course, they've already pre-programmed it with the machine learning. But Steal it will their photo and send it to the send Russians. It to us. While you're at it. What could be the harm? <laughs> Please. I love it. She's working uh, with a Chromebook uh, on this, too, which is interesting. Uh, yeah. We need we need the new Heath kit. Uh, this is kind of the new Heath kit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Cool. I love it. It's in cardboard. Wait. It's got that Google, uh, you know, ethos. What is the cardboard? Oh, Heathkits, you know? They make All stuff. Right. Yeah, I did Heathkits, sure. Heathkits. What is a Heathkit? Oh, my oh, God. It happened again. Oh, my God. I have to drink now. Well, no, now you can tell the rest of your audience who who are maybe not no, as No, they're as old as, as we are, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Heathkit. Heathkit's they're still geeky. around. They're geeky. But it was, it was a great do-it-yourself, build, build a radio Build a Geiger all counter. the parts and the instructions. Yeah. Sometimes uh, you have to do soldering. Solder. Yeah. This is all hardware stuff. You know, build a ham radio. That's the that's the ultimate Heathkit thing. Okay. Yeah, in fact. Uh, I built a radio with my dad. Yeah, there you go. Maybe it was a Heathkit. It's probably a Heathkit. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, our uh, uh, 
guys at the uh, uh, Ham Nation show, the hams, have their own. It's very much a Heath kit. Build your own AM ham transmitter. It's called the Pine Board Computer. Um, if you go to Bob Hiles' site, hilesound.com, you can read about it. Click the ham radio section. Let me scroll down a little bit here. I just put in an image from an old Heath kit catalog. So this is as Heathkit as it gets. In fact, it even has to have a warning. Don't touch this. It could kill you. <laughs> yeah. um, and it has they have, they sell the parts. You danger, high voltage. That makes it exciting for kids. And they have the circuit diagrams, and you make and you build it. You build everything. And uh, oh, look at the look at this link I sent you. It's just too beautiful. It's an old catalog. These were the these were the days, weren't they? This is memory. American oh, radio oh. history. Make a phonograph. Make it make a shortwave radio. That was what I always wanted to do was build a shortwave radio. Yeah. But you could literally build your own Mediterranean oak cabinet television for $119. That's nice. Look at this. Oh, the See? catalog is just great. So Stacy, you weren't born when this came out, 1969. But um there's a DW nurse president. Heathkit. Why do millions build Heathkit electronics? This was 1969. This does <laughs> really 90. This feels like 1949. I know it does, doesn't it? But the TVs are a little more advanced than that. They got a color TVs. Look at that. 